Well, it was quite a, it's quite a shocking experience because it's something that you don't really, it's something that you're always told, right? Six million people, but you can never really visualize it until you're there. So it's quite a shock to be there and to see all the rooms and to see like people actually walk these floors and people actually lived here. So it's, it's quite a... Yeah, um, it's so different from like our everyday lives. So when you go there and you hear about it, and it seems kind of like a fairy tale, the Holocaust, and then you go and you see how meticulous everything is and you know, like, no brick is out of place. So you see how determined they were and how cruel it was. And that was where people lived for many, many months. And it was, it was shocking. You stay completely shocked because you don't, you don't imagine something, a place like that. It's, it's terrible. And you went on this show with a Holocaust survivor? Yeah, Arifesh. He was actually there in the 1940s and he actually showed us where he had um, lived. And that. It was, yeah. It was quite emotional to be there and to walk his footsteps. Right? Yeah. yeah, it was completely inspiring because you think of the place that y you were almost killed and you saw many people die and he had the courage to walk back into those gates and that place and 81 members of his family got actually got killed yeah. so it's quite i think it was quite brave for him to be there and right to walk everything and to relive that because if it was hard for us imagine how hard it was must have been for him so yeah you'll be presenting a cultural showcase at the university of gibraltar tomorrow so what can we expect from that you can expect um humor <laughs> what do you need yeah we're, try we're trying to um to shine a light on this not in like the in a sad way right we want to show like yeah. in a positive way to make people um maybe sort of change maybe their ways and to maybe shine a light on the part that's um quite like it's quite dark and of history we want to like um make people just be, become more tolerant and things like that and yeah yeah and how do you plan on injecting humour into something that's so devastating and so traumatic for so many people? Um, through our projects, we did several projects and which were all created by us and that was learning from Auschwitz. So we did the projects based on the, um, the educational part and we kind of did that in a response to reach out to the community and through the projects you'll see <laughs> quite like a script that we created to make like humor make it fun and know that this can be something which you can like incorporate in your everyday lives yeah. rather than just like an event and it's more active learning yeah. we actually held um, a distribution of kindness so we went around town and um, distributing balloons with like a, a nice quote so it's like to make people smile and to change the day and to realize that, like to be positive and things like that